Hello and welcome to Back to 8-Bit. Yesterday I took on a challenge to try and learn how to play the brand new game of Beethoven's Revenge. I uh, did a video just to show you how to uh, play it and uh, the best way to try and get the best use out of the game. I then later had another go at it and uh, managed to get a complete walkthrough and I did a good video on that as well and uh, you can see the uh, video that I did was the first time I ever completed that game and you see the difficulties and the different directions I went to try and work out the right directions and the right pickups in the right order. Now I'm going to have a go this time at playing the 48k version. Now the 128k version was a terrific little game and the music was absolutely superb. The uh, animation was fantastic. The playability just ran extremely smoothly and I completely fully recommend you having a good go at this game. But let's have a look and see what the 48k version is like. Now I am expecting a few differences. I have had a quick play at it uh, before I attempted this and I can tell you now there is a lot less music through it but uh, using the 48k beeping uh, uh, sounds it is still extremely um, impressive. Anyway let's see how I get on with it and I hope you enjoy.
And there you go. Still a great game. I did find uh, the map was a little different. Uh, less of the uh, maze was on the 48K version and the ending was quite different. The uh, little um, puzzler at the very end wasn't there on the 48K mode. Also noticed uh, in the top right hand corner as well, there's no count of the orchestras that you found either. And uh, so you didn't really know when you had to go back to um, the end of the game to complete the game to let you know that you completed and collected everything but uh, whether or not that will be fixed in the uh, next update I don't know but uh, either way I suppose it's all down to the limitations of the 48k system so it's a terrific little game even for the 48k version but with all the uh, emulations out there and the modern systems out there with FPGA I would certainly recommend just taking a deep dive into the uh, 128k mode to play this game Thanks for watching, take care and I'll be back very soon.